Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today is September 7th. Hope everybody had a good shortened week of trading. Let's take a quick look at the markets and then we will jump into my trades for the week. So obviously Monday, Labor Day. Tuesday, huge flush. Well, let's go back to Friday. I mean, Friday had that huge run up in the afternoon. It pushed to the top of this little consolidation range that it's been around 5,600 for a couple weeks here. Looked like it was a foregone conclusion that we are going to rip to new all-time high territory at SPX. But the Bears had other ideas and just absolutely crushed um, any bullish trades. Tuesday, big flush. Wednesday, Thursday, a little bit indecision. And then, of course, Friday, another huge leg down. S&P is down almost 2%, NASDAQ down 3% on Friday. Um, so quite quite a move, getting the volatility pumped back up. VIX settling in at 22.38. Uh, so popping its head back up there. Uh, NASDAQ obviously down for the week as well, uh, even, even weaker than the uh, S&P. Russell, weakest of all. Dow, also down, although the Dow hit a new all-time high last week, um, followed in the footsteps of the other indices this week. Gold still chopping below its all-time high, has not made another run-up in the last few weeks. Silver, a little choppy back and forth, ending the week lower. Notes and bonds strong. 10-year yield coming down in anticipation of the proverbial rate cut. Uh, a 10 year yield settling in at 3.698. Uh, looks like about a 50 50 probability as far, as far as the Fed futures go uh, on whether it'll be a 25 or a 50 point uh, basis point rate cut. So we'll see what happens. We've got CPI next week, we've got PPI next week, uh, and then the following week we have the, uh, the FOMC meeting. So should be interesting. Oil lower for the week, natural gas higher for the week, soybeans up, corn up, wheat up. Euro and the pound, uh, euro's kind of back and forth, same with the pound, and Bitcoin showing some weakness down almost 6% on Friday, back under 53,000. All right, let's jump into my trades for the week. Starting with zero DTE, just had one AM trade minus 1400. I uh, did a couple others, but I transformed them, so I'll show those in the transformer section. Uh, my BIX, my British Iron Condors, still still just doing tiny size testing. Um, a little bit red for the week. I'm actually waiting on some funds to clear in my one of my accounts that's going to have a focus on these British Iron Condors, so I'm excited about that. So I have a lot better data to report, nothing really to talk about on those at this point. Uh, no FOMC. Woogas. I did, uh, this one was a mistake. I entered and realized it didn't fit the criteria, so I closed it really quick for a small profit, and then... This one was just a discretionary kind of end of day deal. And then this was the only real Wooga uh, plus 1800. That was on Friday. Uh, let's see. My price action iron condors did not fare well this week, uh, mostly due to this big uh, loss here on uh, Thursday. A bunch of us in the community got just smoked with some crazy slippage on a uh, on a quick move. Uh, so, uh, you know, a full loss should be maybe closer to 3500 ish Ended up taking a $6,600 hit on that one trade. Uh, still a little bit, I mean, still not great, right? I mean, down 8 k for the week. Um, just And, and I, didn't, I didn't trade it much um, just because of other things. It takes a lot of time and focus during the day, and I had a lot of other things going on. So just not, did not fare well this week. A uh, few ricks. Um, this one has not settled yet. That'll be a minus 1466. Uh, these other three were closed out, hit profit targets 45%, 35%, 45%. Uh, so it'll be a little bit green on ricks for the week. 
Didn't have any of those. One and two DTE. Uh, I had a, a few others here that I'll talk about that I transformed, but the ones that I just closed for loss, I had uh, a two DTE and a one DTE. Those are both on Tuesday. And then this was one I basically just scratched because Price had that look in his eye, and it was ended up being a good close. It was one of those big flush days. Uh, but a little red on those. And then that's it for zero DTE. Yeah, so let's go to day trades. All right, so my mighty 90 and runners a little bit. Uh, yeah, down 3,600. So one thing that I'm, I'm really going to be just hyper-focused on um, on these mighty 90 and day trades is just, just focusing on cutting trades earlier. Um, you know, and one thing I, I said in the live stream was, you know, it, you, if you get out of the trade and then it kind of gives you a head fake and you want to get back in, you can always get back in. And so I, I have that my mentality and I'm, very good at it about 95% of the time. The problem is, and you'll, and you'll, uh, it's reflected right here in this Microsoft trade and this meta trade specifically where I just, the, the, this is two trades in the week that I just let go too far and it, and it cost me. Um, so, uh, I've been, my, my day trading has been really good, but I, I still have to eliminate those, you know, 1% or 5% of the trades that I just decide to let go a little bit longer. And it always is on my, what I call a continuation runner. Uh, those are the ones where the kind of the line in the sand is a little bit more wishy-washy than some of the others. And so, uh, so I'm just kind of talking out, you know, thinking out loud about this is, I mean, for me, my focus needs to be, especially on these continuation runners, cutting them quicker. Uh, if, if they do end up, you know, moving my way, I can always get back in. But um, it, I've got to have a hyper focus on, on cutting these. These strategies are all about, I mean, any trading strategy, but these specifically are all about managing risk. You've got to keep your losers in check and the, uh, you know, and the profits will kind of take care of themselves. So a uh, little red for the week. Um, and really, you know, it was a couple of trades that got me. So they, they've been really good lately. So can't complain too much, but just, uh, just kind of giving you guys my thoughts on my focus going forward on those, um, Chad will be running the live stream in the morning every day next week, but I have, I, I am going to start doing uh, more of these live streams, uh, going forward at least once, once a week, maybe twice a week, every once in a while. Um, because I've just kind of gotten, gotten back into them a little bit and I'm, I'm enjoying trading them. So look forward to that. Uh, let's see next. No butterflies calendars. Had my first, uh, double calendar loss in a month. Um, it was a one three, uh, but my one two, which on the same day was pretty similar winner. So it's kind of a wash on those two. Uh, and then had a another one two that was a six fifteen winner, so a little bit green on those three trades. I did not have my normal uh, Friday entries on because of the shortened Labor Day week, so did not uh, just had a couple here during the week. Uh, loaded up for next week, so hopefully those turn out well. We do have, like I said, PPI and CPI on Wednesday Thursday next week. Uh, let's see. Option selling just had one closed trade. It was a hedgehog and ES for small loss minus 385. Uh, no portfolio margin trades. Transformers continue to be my top performing strategy set. Had a uh, Mahomes close for 2000. That was on Tuesday. And then my bot version plus 565. Uh, this was an iron condor transformer single fly just closed. Uh, this one is, has not settled yet. That'll actually be plus 720. So take 2,500 off that number. 
Um, and then plus 2,000 for Mahomes, plus 965 for my bot trade, Mahomes. Uh, oh, and then, yeah, these haven't settled yet either. So add another 3,000 in uh, for my bot trade and then my, my normal one, 3,000. So this, this number is ballpark pretty correct. These just will settle out a little bit differently. Uh, and then these are all still open. Actually, this one will be minus 274. So, yeah, it'll be about 8,000, just in a little bit different uh, arrangement here once these settle out. All right, my friends, that is it. Hope everybody has a good week next week. Uh, got a, uh, the only real big news reports are the CPI and PPI. So I didn't see many. I don't think we had any Fed speakers, maybe one or two, kind of random. But um, look forward to a good week. Everybody have a good rest of your weekend. Talk to you soon.